Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. And if you tried to join me earlier for the live stream, Gods Unchained Weekend Ranked on Twitch or YouTube, you saw we had some technical difficulties. I tried the stream twice, and it did not work out in either case. So I'm recording this weekend ranked gameplay instead. I was in the middle of two different matches during that stream and was able to pull them off even though I got disconnected from all the streaming software, YouTube, Twitch, and the actual game. Here we are. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm 15 of 20 with the Anubian Heirloom Dev Deck. few little switches. Went 21 and 8 overall with this in my testing. Not a whole big difference from the deck you've seen from the prior week. I did drop trial begins down to a one of after playing with two of it just seemed too much you're wanting to get out fast but it comes in handy when you're just not drawing the priestess of takat and you can just go grab her with it so i, I like it at a one of did add in a one dead bodyguard just a little bit more one mana anubian summoning and that's pretty much really the only changes and if you haven't heard yet the Divine Order set will be no longer sold after May 19th. We also have a balance update coming. Could be some of these cards getting a final nerf or buff. We don't really know. They've not said much about Divine Order as they're focused on Mortal Judgment. Is that, Or at least that's the way it seems. And the only way you'll be able to get these cards is getting them from the secondary market here on Token Trove with the back end on Immutable Lex. So we could see some price fluctuations in the NFT market. Now we've seen some nasty uh, price fluctuations in the crypto market across the other market, stock market, gold, all that. And that's, of course, bringing gods down. Uh, along with Immutable X and pretty much everything. There's very few coins that are up and in the green or tokens. And we need to see some type of rebound. But Gods at least has tried to hold this 70 to 75 cents area. Even with the big pullback on Bitcoin and Ether. Gods has been able to maintain around that nice support. Same thing with IMX. It did. It was up there towards that 180 area, pulling back. Still not towards the bottom of the channel, but looks like we may get some more buying pressure, trying to hold up that 150 area support. Unless Ethereum and Bitcoin continue to go red and drop more and more, I'm thinking this may be a possible bottom, but who knows? All right, on to the gameplay. Let's finish these last five matches. All right, so I'm against a light deck here. Light decks have been giving me a little bit more problem than they used to, but I, as long as I get the Priestess early, that's a pretty good start. There we go. So I'm going first as well. I like to start off with a Brimstone at two damage, getting a Curse of Greed. We're going to pass it back to him. Want to see him actually play a creature. Yeah, he did good. So now I can drop the Priestess and the Vile Reaver next turn. And he buffed it. So I might kill that instead. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to kill this instead. Because I can kill this next turn with the Curse of Greed. So that's what we're going to do in... Power it, get that Pharaoh's Heirloom added to my hand for more Nubians. That's fine. Take take them out. And he's gone. Beautiful. Alright. So we're almost to six mana. Go ahead and put your little relic on. Got two pieces of the Anubian pie in there. Just need to get a few more out there. Just throw that out. And then we'll take that guy out. 
I'm gonna pass it back to him. He don't got that much damage on the board. He's also only down the two cards or she, I don't know, it's Nick 86, whatever. <laughs> Maybe that's supposed to mean something, but I don't understand what it means. Alright, buffing a little bit more. These guys still not a big big deal at all. This turn we are going to play the reach into the black. Get that priestess back out along with those blitz creatures. Come on. There you go. Hopefully get priestess out there. Okay. <laughs> Could have possibly went very, very badly there. Uh, okay, we'll just go ahead and take that out. And we'll take a shot at that. Actually, I'm going to pop a man and get one more Anubian out here. Because next turn, or no, it'll be the turn after I'll be able to play Land of the Dead. Yeah, I just want to want to get a vile reaver from this. They do have another curse of greed. Can take out whatever he plays. If he plays something under three mana, which we have three options on the board, even if he doesn't play anything else. Ooh, boy, well, he just took that priestess to the face. What else you got? You got two cards left. Oh, this is going to be bad for him. He's, if he puts it on one of the... Let's see, is that one three? Oh, that one's four mana. Uh-oh, that's a problem. Maybe he'll put it on not that one. Let's see. Aha! That's okay. That's really okay. Because we just drew another priestess, so we might as well get some more shenanigans going out here. And the next turn will land of the dead, and that will be the game. So there should be another win, unless he does some type of crazy buff. Actually, I don't even think he can do enough buff in this turn to be able to kill me. Yeah, it's pretty much over with. Got a, yeah, asterisk, not a big deal. That's going to do three damage. There you go. He think he's he got my board cleared. He thinks he's got a chance, and then we're going to ruin. <laughs> we're going to ruin the dreams. Land of the Dead should be called Ruin Your Dreams. Alright, there's one priestess, two priestess. Grab these vile reavers. Well, we'll just have to grab another vanguard. Doesn't matter. He's going to be dead after two of these reavers dying, so. Each one's going to do four damage from two priests priestesses and that's the game sorry bud so that's another win that puts me at 16 of 21 and I am oh that was a nice boost I'm almost back in the mythic all right so we got a nature deck So with four games left, I possibly could win out all the way to 20, but I'd have to win all four of these games, and I am coming right into Mythic, so that's going to be difficult. Really nice hand there. Been able to get the Priestess right out the bat, Vile Reaver, and a Blight Bomb in case he plays 
anything that I don't want on the board. Let's go ahead and start with a brimstone. Eh. And this is why I put the trial that begins down to a one of. Because once you get a priestess out, you really don't need it anymore. So it kept several games end up being not that useful. And I'm going to go ahead and pop another mana. Take that out. I just don't like them. I don't like those sprouts being played against me. And yeah, uh, there's been games where I've left them on the board for just a turn or two and try to focus on damage and that ended up being a mistake. Too much buffing in nature to leave those type of creatures. A badger, whatever, but anything else. Look here, he's banking on his badger killing the priestess to see if it misses or hits. Oh, uh, I guess not. I guess they already hit. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. Um, I don't really want to kill any of that stuff. It's not that big a deal. I'm wasting my spells on it. I, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just grab another priestess. Go ahead and get that going. I'm going to hold her in my hand. We already got Land of the Dead. Getting the Staff of Roots out. This Curse of Greed next turn I should be able to take out. I don't want to use the Curse of Greed to take out all these ones, but I might have to. He's probably going to do a, some type of... Oh, uh, yeah, Wildfire probably next. Hmm. Got two regions of the. Got two Anubians in there. It's reaching the black is really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out on this one. And then that's going to do four damage. And if he's if he's wanting to take me out, he's going to have to take out these peristases. Nice. Getting some front line out here. That ain't going to matter. Two mana left. Took out. That's not a surprise. But it's going to do two damage. And he took that to the face. It's a little, uh, little brazen. This is a three mana. So we'll just take this bull out with the curse of greed. Ruin those whole plans. And then I'm going to throw on the Necro Scepter. And let's pop a mana. We got a turn or two. Because I don't have that many Anubians in there yet to pull that land of the dead. I just got the same three. Need to get a couple more out there. Now you're poking at me. It's not going to do the trick. You got two turns to live. Better do something quick. <clears throat> well, got some options. Extra little options here. Let's grab that. And we'll boost him up just for the fun of it. Take out one of these badgers. And then this next turn, we should be able to play Land of the Dead. One, f 
four. Yeah, four in there. He's probably going to kill both of these. Hopefully he kills both of these. And then we can end it. Yeah, there's a wildfire. It's going to get both of them in there. Perfect. So this game is over this next turn. And there's the land of the dead, two priestess, two vials, two vanguards. Well, actually, he might not die this turn, but. It will certainly happen by the next turn, because every, every Anubian that leaves with the skull scepter is doing five damage. So, he's got to get through those front lines. He could play... No, he couldn't even do that. I was going to say... He could play that six mana board wipe. Ah, nice. Compost charm. Trying to get back in the game here. A little healing. Well, you're just going to go right back down. Five damage. Taking those out. <laughs> Oof, that ain't gonna help you either. There you go. He's gonna vow champions one of the priestess and still gonna do three damage, but taking one of them out. You got the necromancer next to drop and this two damage as well I could play. Well that's probably what's gonna happen. Oh, no, he just... <laughs> well, he onyxed himself to death. All right, nice. so we got Itchy the Killer with a Deception deck. Very scary name, very intimidating. Hmm. I really don't want a Deception card, drawn cards. I don't want to put that out because he can steal it with... Hmm. No, I'm going to try to get Priestess if I can. Nope, no Priestess, but we do have a little bit of board wipe with these Blitz and the Reach into the Black to bring some back. Eh, I'm just going to... Well, actually, if I can make them waste some mana that'd be okay see if they're tempted to use the distraction to kill it boy I really hope I draw a blight bomb and I didn't oh wow he didn't do either so I'm gonna take that free damage and draw me two more cards Oh, and we're going to take it out. Get out of here. I hate that card. So much used against me. You're not getting any of my cards today, Itchy. I'm here to scratch you. <laughs> yeah, more deception hidden shenanigans. These deception decks can come out of nowhere and just wallop you. I'm in the Siren of the Grave, though. That's going to be the secret key. I'm going to let him play probably one or two more big creatures actually first let's just go ahead and take that out we can control this board we might as well keep control of it yeah cause they they kill the raven necromancer I can pull that reach into the black next turn pull the necromancer with those vile reavers right back out and do some damage that 
That's fine. I don't care. That's not what he's there for. Taking that little bit of strength. I just went ahead and pulled the reach into the black just to get rid of a couple of... Keep control of the board here, not get rid of a couple, but whatever. Whatever craziness comes out of my mouth, I just hit him for no reason. Mm. I don't want him... I did take it. He took the Siren of the Grave. Unfortunate. Talking about these deception decks. They're so disruptive. And have the ability to buff one creature out of nowhere like crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and drop a Pharaoh's Heirloom. Uh, hmm, I don't want to give him any favor. We'll just eat that. And I am going to play the, bar the Barreling Scab. See if he'll be tempted to kill that. And that way, if he does kill it, yeah, he's going to use his god power and kill it. And he's going to draw two cards, and he's going to get another card. So that might have been a mistake. Or maybe he's not? That was kind of out of order, unless he's not going to kill it. Be a smart play. Be a pro move not to kill it. Mm, he didn't, he didn't attack anything. That was strange. Let's see, do we got one, two, three? I'm not gonna let him draw if I don't have to. Go ahead and take the decadent out there I'll shoot straight to the face on that one yeah I know what you're gonna do next he is going to try hmm, what I want to do I'm gonna wait cuz I know he's got he's probably got rapture dance if I can force him to rapture dance with only these four out here yep there it comes That allowed me to catch cards and accord and plan accordingly. Might as well just get all these out here. Let's see if he's got another rapture dance. Actually, I'm gonna drop the barrel and scab. See if I can tempt him again. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that rune of sight. And just because he has so so many cards, or she, the Itchy's, Itchy's got so many cards, and I don't have that many cards. I want to make sure I can at least get a land of the dead to finish it off. I'll go for the necromancer. I would have nope. Heal, healing his god for four. Interesting move. Oh, uh, I see what you're gonna try to do. Try to put him on the sleep. We'll see how that works. You gotta be able to kill it. If you can't kill it this turn, maybe too late. Itchy. Itchy the killer sounds like a clown. Like an actual literal like circus clown, like uh, what, it was a Gacy or whatever who was a clown. It's you the killer.
He's always itching because he gets hives before. <laughs> it's messed up. Ooh, there's a skull scepter. Getting it late game like this actually may come in pretty handy. Maybe. We'll see. Let's go ahead and use that rune of sight. See if I can grab. Uh, there's the land of the dead. Perfect. Land of the dead for next turn. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to play anything. I'll just wait. Would you, would you have both priestesses in here, right? Let's see. Oh, no, just one, but that's okay. I got the Raven Necromancers. Oh, got a scoop there, so very nice. Puts us up to 18 and 23 with these last two matches. And I am back in Mythic. So let's go ahead and finish out the rest of this. Oh, War Deck and Mythic. Wow, I haven't seen a War Deck and Mythic in a while. This is not a bad hand, but I'm going to... Hmm, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. That uh, If he does get out with a big board really fast, a sign of the grave could come in handy. I'm going to go ahead and do a brimstone. Oh, he's not using the two damage god power, so that's nice. And yeah, we'll just pass it back to him. This is probably going to be, just by looking at the skeleton with the armor, it's probably going to be some type of armor buff deck. But I'm not too worried about it. Do one damage there. I am going to pop one more mana. Play this brimstone. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. So I don't even care if he kills the priestess at this point. So I can get her right back. Or just draw another priestess, you know. Sometimes, sometimes things just work like that. Let's just go ahead and take that out. And I'm going to let him waste something. Maybe a, some type of Blitz creature. Yeah, so Smith's Hammer, that's a relic that adds armor to his creatures. If I can get it to pull up. There you go. Uh, yeah, after you attack with this relic, give plus one armor to each friendly creature. And that can get out of hand if they got a lot of creatures. Unfortunately for him, though, this game is getting out of... Oh, ooh, I'm, let me see. He could be setting up to use a Carnage Sweep. So I'm just going to stop there and see if that's what he's about to do. I wanted to wipe my board. Nope. So he's going to start trying to buff... Actually, that's not a bad idea trying to keep giving this thing armor. It'd be really hard to get around it for most decks. It's not a really an issue for this deck because I don't care to try to get around it. All I'm doing is this kind of mill damage by killing my creatures. So, Oh, I kind of misplayed there. That's all right. Here's what we're going to do. Let's drop it. Him, and then we'll kill this one. Draw two more cards. See, so it doesn't matter about his one front line. That damage is still going to go. Hmm. I'm going to put the Siren of the Grave down. I'll obliterate the other one. I'm not going to need the other one. I guess I could have threw one more priestess and done three damage. That's alright. 
He's got a long way to come back. Well, you killed one of them. That's going to do the three damage there. Now what? Now what you going to do? Got three other ones to kill. This is probably a pretty good deck against the um, other things, but I, I, it seems like it definitely has a weakness against the Nubian. But sh shout out to him for being well, being a mythic and playing a war deck. We don't know if he got too mythic with this war deck or what, but yeah, I could definitely see that deck being problematic for other people, for other decks, but. All right, so 19 of 24, last game. If I can pull it out, be a pretty good weekend, even though I started lower in the ranks than I wanted to. Just All right, so of course, finishing it off with another death deck. Probably going to be a Nubian, since we are in Mythic. I'm going to need to be able to move quick. Keep up with the pace. There we go. Priestess. Let's go see. There we go. That's a good start. I'm going second so I can see what he's going to do as a priestess right away. Yeah, she's getting taken out. She is getting taken out. I'm going to give him another turn. See if he plays another priestess or something like that. Very nice. The untold greed. Did the same thing to me. I just did to that last person. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and play this. Let's make it real sketchy. And I've got two priestess, so I'm gonna pop a mana, throw that one out, see if it's a if it can survive or if it'll be a good distraction. Yeah, I got him thinking. Nice. Using the Curse of Greed to get rid of that one priestess. Ooh, we got Land in the Dead in hand already. So I believe we should go ahead and Pharaoh's Heirloom. And we'll go ahead and drop the other priestess too. Why not? Make him waste those spells early. I may be playing a little over aggressive because how many cards he has in his hand, but I want to really get going before he does. Reach into the black. Oh, there's the blight bomb. Nice. But he's not going to be able to. Well, he did quite a bit of damage there. Go ahead, drop the Necromancer. Take that out. See, he's going to be the six mana first. Well, he's out of mana, so I think I'll be able to get the six mana first. All right, we'll just have to leave it there. Yeah. I just need a couple more Nubians. Two. Oh, actually, no, I don't. If he kills this one, I'm good. Yeah, so I may be able to take. What is that? What is he doing here? Oh, the Hand of the Abyss. Interesting. I've not played with that card yet. You know, it looks like it would work in the Nubian Heirloom Death Archetype. Uh, but just a little slower than what I want my decks to do, so I haven't put it in there anything really in those higher manas in this version anyway. Hmm. Let's 
go ahead and just eat that. We'll drop that. And there's no reason to obliterate because next turn we're pulling out the whole army. See, he's a turn behind me now from playing the Land of the Dead if that was his plan. See, he's only got three of them in there, actually. Yeah, bring on that Pharaoh's heirloom. Get some stuff out there for me to kill. All your little Anubians is going to do damage to yourself, too. I believe this game is over with. Oh, come on, you should have left him out there. I think. He may have one more turn to try to beat me. Mm. That was another Land of the Dead, though, so that's nice. But we got to get going first. We'll see. We'll see how this plays out. I think I got him. Hopefully I calculated right there. I'm pretty sure I, ca I counted right. Now, what would be real unfortunate would be if he's got Neferu or I forget what the card is, but destroys all creatures at six mana and deals eight damage. Well, that would cost him the game probably to play that. That'd be quite a bit of damage to take at this this late in the game for him. Even Nefer would hurt because it would do three damage, four damage with that uh, Vanguard. So here's his Land of the Dead. Let's see. Let's see what happened. Well. <laughs> I don't think he can outpace me with those two priestess out there and the necromancer. No, the necromancer is going to heal me. Yeah, he's going to kill himself this turn if he's not careful. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, almost. Let's see. One, two. Oh, nope. Yep, yeah, that got him. So there it is. I was able to win out all the games for the rest of my weekend ranked. And now it's going to be back to work and testing some things. I didn't get that pack, so let's go ahead and hop into my new magic deck. That is a variation of the dragon decks I've been working on that I've been showing a little sneak peeks of. I've got a few things in there. I did add in the two Laylord Hatchlings. Alright, so... <laughs> I jump in here and I'm going directly against another magic deck. Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep those. More than likely, he's not going to be playing a lot of creatures. No, I didn't think so. Uh, I'll just pass it back to you, man. If you want to sit here and draw all the cards and get all the way to 8 mana and play the game, I'm all for it. This is the deck for it. I don't care if you got Hydras or what you got. Doesn't matter whatever all that letters mean. <laughs> I can do that, too. I got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> you got both Laylor Hatchlings. They're down to a five. He's unlocking us. Yeah, he wants to mana wrap. There's another dragon. This is going to be a fun match right here. He is trying to mana wrap. I have no problems with that. Let's see who gets there. If you ain't playing creatures, I'm not playing creatures. That Scholar, that's a pretty good card. That may be something I may need to think about running. Solus. So you get two mana lock there. And then also if you empower them, you get to draw a card. Oh yeah, those are really good. Oh, wait a minute. I think I am running these now. I think I did pick these up and put them in here. 
Hmm. Let's go ahead and try to pop that off of there. Keep his board clear for whatever shenanigans he's trying to do. But I'm ready. I'm ready to go to war. Let's go. I got the Quicksilver Dragon in my hand. If I have six or more cards in my hand after this creature enters the board, he'll come in with Blitz. And I got that Reckless Flame Breather. Very nice. Yeah, he's drawing more cards too. I'm just going to go ahead and throw five damage in his face while he's got nothing up. And we'll pop a mana just to kill one of these and take him out. What do you got? Ooh, yay. Haunted mirrors. Those are not going to save you. I can promise you that. I think I am going to go ahead and play these and drop these right in his face. Because those front lines can't attack. So now we got him down to 17 and I haven't even played. This is the first creatures I'm playing. He is a mana lock ahead of me. So I do need to see some of my mana ramping. That's fine, whatever. You took out my lay lords. Iron Goblin, not a big deal there. Ooh, Dragon Collar. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play the Dragon Collar and get laid on in my hand. Well... I forgot it was random, but that's okay. We got the Cloudborn Aether Drake ready for some shenanigans. And I'm just going to deal three damage again. Just keep poking at his god. I don't really care what he's doing out here. These two can't attack. And they're not going to stand any chance of living once I start dropping these dragons. He better have a lot of ratifies. There's another four damage right here I can throw at him. If I keep drawing damage spells, though, I might kill him before we even get there. Ooh, there's the unlocked mana lock. Let's go ahead and play that. Now we're caught up pretty much. And yeah, let's go ahead and throw out four damage there. We'll pass it back again. He's down to ten. He's at 8 mana. I'm going to be at 8 mana, I think. He may, no, he may be, he may be one more turn ahead of me on mana. Both of us have extra mana. Nice. So he's trying to get some damage on me here. If I am 8 mana, that'd be great. Nope, I'm not quite at 8 mana. I could have took out his whole entire board. With the Reckless Flame Breather, but I'm one turn behind. So, we're going to have to kill everything. Do one damage to each creature. Take out all these extra ones. Kill that. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw that for three damage, and then grab... The Ambitious Adventurer. I kind of want to play him. Nah, I better not. I better not. Because if I draw a late on next, or even if I don't, I can still drop the Flame Breather if he plays more creatures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be dropping the Flame Breather. He's trying to pull shenanigans. Interesting. Those are actually are not a bad idea to metamorphosis. Because they're only two mana, yeah. And then if they get low on health, bringing out a three mana creature that's stronger. Not a bad move at all. But now it's time for the dragons. Wham. Get all that off the board, boy. 
Should have never tried a mana ramp. I'll go ahead and power that up. See what he gets here with this unannounced arrival. Oh, nice. That was not a bad summon. Yeah, he's gonna take out he's gonna throw everything at this dragon, keep it off the board. That that is only one dragon. There are more dragons. Oh my goodness, and here we go. Bam, there's laid on. These are getting dropped. Next turn. Old laid on Ladone. Ladone is what I like to call him. Ladone. But this is the idea of the deck. And I think think I've got him beat with it. So really nice to see this version of the deck allow me to <clears throat> perform in Mythic like this as well. Yeah, he's done for. You are done for, buddy. All we got to do is just take that off, blast that there, and then lay down the end it. Didn't even need the other dragons. Ladone was enough. Very nice, very nice. So, who knows? If I get this dragon deck in shape here by next weekend, it may be what I run. I, I don't want to run the Anubian Rush anymore if I'm in Mythic. I, wanna, I want to try out some crazier decks this next weekend ranked little bag of cats all right guys well it has been a decent weekend ranked for me and i've got about four core packs coming one rare and three epics and then two mortal judgment epics and one mortal judgment rare so not too bad we will be back both on Twitch and YouTube Monday morning, if it's not a holiday, I don't think it is, for some live stock trading here. And then on Tuesdays, come and join us for some live Gods Unchained deck testing. Come join the community, check out frameworkfortune.com, and you can come join the Discord where we also are growing our community for everything including gods unchained and you can come test with people in the community appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there have a great rest of your weekend ranked and let me know how you did down in the comments below this is war with the enemy think that it was meant to be living in a time where